Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. How's everybody doing today? I'm getting this plugged in because I just realized I forgot to plug in my mic. So come on in. Goodness, it's Christmas week. I know you guys are busy. I'll have just a minute to take a break and enjoy some crafting. I think, you know, when you're in the hectic, busy time of, of you know, the year, it is vital to take a little break and just unwind, do some crafting or watch some crafting and breathe, get a drink and just calm down. And then you can get back to all the work that you've got to do. Hi, Lisa. I'm sure thinking about Richard today. Hopefully he's having a great day. You guys come on in. Let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Donna. Glad y'all are coming in. Hello, Lori. I've got my little wine bottle here. I um, tease that it's five o'clock somewhere. This uh, is just an empty wine bottle, of course. We're gonna paint on it, but I'm gonna show you a really easy painting that you can do and make a little gift out of a bottle of wine because lots of us are going to family's houses and there will be wine there. You'll be taking wine as a gift or maybe if you don't drink, then your neighbors will give you a wine bottle or any kind of bottle. But I'm gonna show you specifically for a wine bottle because I have a little, a little thing at the end I'm gonna do to it. Hello, Diane. Hi, Sheila, let's see. Okay, hi, Arla, glad you're here. I hope you're feeling okay. You need to send me a message, let me, get me an update. Hi, Barb. Hi, Diane and Minnie and Andrea, Cynthia, glad you're here. Okay, guys, come on in. Help us get this out to other people. Hi, Lori. Glad you're here, my friend. Um, okay. Hi, Chris. Glad you're here. Awesome. So glad to see you guys popping in. I know it's a very busy week, so, you know, it's, it's important to take a little break. So when you can take your breaks, go to Craft Around the Clock, and you will find somebody that will inspire you or help you to laugh and relax you know when things get super tense you just find something that helps you relax even if it's for five to ten minutes okay it'll help hello candy hi cynthia and christy i hope i've said hi to most that you that i've seen trina patty ada glad y'all are here hi carrie um okay so i need y'all to quickly vote snowman or gnome i am i'm kind of tired of gnomes myself however I saw on another post somebody had asked about gnomes and so many people still love them. So I will paint one on here and it'll be super cute. And I kind of want to. So let's hear whether y'all want snowman or gnome. But if you're tired of gnomes and we want to do a snowman, let's do that. So whatever y'all want to do. Oh, Lynn, I'm so glad you're here live. Listen, take the break, you guys. We're all busy. Hi, Mary, Ocean Breeze and me. You guys, be sure and follow my friend Mary if you haven't yet. Hi, Claudia. Merry Christmas week to you guys. Hi, Tamara and Leveda, Michelle. So happy you guys could pop in. Snowman, snowman, gnome. Okay, keep on voting. We got several snowmans. We have one gnome. We have two gnomes. We have another snowman. Um, so typically, let me tell you, while y'all keep voting, snowman or gnome, I will take alcohol and you can't really tell but it says 99 percent alcohol on here and i need to buy more because i'm down to the wire here but i will clean my bottle with hot soapy water get the label off and then clean it with alcohol and just a paper towel and then let it air dry so for like 10 minutes let it dry then i have gone on and put my multi-purpose sealer this is not a sealer like a top coat it's a sealer like a base coat so some people use uh, slick stick some people will put down some mod podge hi andrea and i use this uh multi-purpose sealer by deco art so i've put that down on the bottle and let it dry so now we're ready to paint but because i've done those two steps i can use acrylic paint if i want to so i have a mix i've got some glass paint i have some multi-purpose paint i've got some acrylic and then i have some glass paint so you know i just kind of pull whatever i'm wanting to use the colors and all that um okay i think we see more snowmans so we're, we're gonna do a snowman but here's the reason i wanted to do a gnome in a way because katie had sent me in my mystery box challenge this adorable ribbon and i thought how cute would it be to tie a ribbon around here so i was thinking no but 
totally good with snowman. I also have things out ready to go for snowman too. So hello, Dana. I have missed you, girl. I have not seen you in a while. I hope you have some time off this week. Isn't it cute, Michelle? Okay, so let's get started. So when you're going to paint glass, you want to find your softest brushes. You'll have less brush strokes that way. So these are some of my soft brushes and you can just tell very soft brushes for acrylic painting. I'm going to start with this um, to get some, some, uh, you know, quickly get some surface down. So I'm going into my white with it. And we're going to start with that snowman. In fact, let me make just a tad bit of gray over here. So I'm going to take some white and just a dot of black and make a little bit of gray. We need some shading in this snowman. Otherwise, he just won't look right. So just a little bit more and get a little bit of gray there. You guys doing okay this week? Do you guys have family coming in or are you going to see family? You don't have to tell me, like if you're, uh, like, you know, sometimes you don't want to put out on the internet that, oh, I'm not going to be home this week. Okay, so you don't have to say anything about that, but like, just curious, are y'all having family in or are you cooking this week? Tell me what's going on for you guys. So let's get a little bit of snow down here on the bottom. We're just going to kind of get this down. Listen, guys, so easy, so easy. You can do this to a, if you have a bottle of wine that you can leave the the wrapper on and then paint on the back, great, do that. And then you turn it around and, and present it that way. But if it's someone you know, like a family, you know, something like that, um, that, you know, they trust you, <laughs> then you can take the label off and paint it and then just tell them what it is or put a little tag on it saying, this is the type of wine that I wanted you to have this painted bottle. So um, yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, do something kind of wild with it and give them something that they can enjoy and looking at and use later because I'm going to show you how we can use this later. So then we're going to just start in with our snowman. You can do your typical, you know, three circles if you want to. Just however you want to and you can look at something on the internet. You never want to copy, right, because people come up with designs that are theirs. but get inspiration but obviously a snowman is a very simple simple little thing to paint and it is better to do uh, several very light thin layers than heavy so the one I'm doing now is a little heavy than heavier than what I would like to do typically but for time's sake I am putting it a little heavier so we can get done in time and just kind of getting the shape I want and then here's his little head. So I'm not doing the three. Sometimes, you know, we do like three circles, gradually getting bigger. I'm just doing two. A lot of times that's what I do with my snowman. So let's kind of get a, a decent circle going here for his head. So basically, we've just got some white down. Easy peasy, and we're going to let this dry while we move on and do a tree. And then here's our white snow down at the bottom, so you can see where we're going with it. Easy peasy, easy peasy. You just postponed. Oh, yeah, Christy. I know a lot of places it is bad, so yeah, I don't blame you. And it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't, as long as we're together at some point, you know, you can celebrate Christmas any time of the year and honestly we should the birth of Jesus is what it's about so you know anytime you can is great okay let's move on to a round brush and we're gonna start our tree let me actually take a detail brush so these are my favorite detail brushes you guys have seen me use them before I just got them on Amazon the brand is Jenny I'm sorry Jerry Q I say Jenny every time it's Jerry Q they look like it says Jenny. Hold on. I just dropped it in my red paint. 15 in Louisiana. Yeah, I think it's going to be similar here, girl, in Texas. Eek. I mean, that's, that's kind of hard to travel in for a lot of people, you know, especially if you've got young kids and maybe not such a great car. You know, it's kind of scary traveling in those extreme temps. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tree. I'm just going to kind of get a, a base there with my liner brush and then moving to my round brush. This is a six, no, it's a five 
and uh, and honestly it's a little big but it'll be fine a, a four would have been perfect but this is what I had easy access to okay so then we're just gonna quickly do our cute whimsical tree and just getting kind of the base down you guys look how easy so again I'm telling you every time I come on here I'm showing you easy things that you can do this doesn't take any special skills you know don't say oh but I'm not a painter you can do this you can do this so just a simple whimsical fun tree that's our base okay let that dry while we move on if you will take your brush and squeeze out all that extra paint into your paper towel then it won't get your paint water you know your cup of water so dirty and we'll keep that clean longer which is nice because we're going to white we're kind of going back and forth between white and green here and I don't want a green tinted snowman we don't want that you guys let me know how you're doing I know uh, oh last night thank you guys if you helped me I asked uh, I was headed to Target and I asked for advice on um, I'm going to take my heat gun to this actually to kind of speed up this drying process but i'd asked for um ideas for stockings for men you guys came through i was so happy and it was all things i knew about that's the funny thing is i just kind of went blank because i'm tired of the same old things every year um especially for guys you know like they get the same things i, I just you know so i got some really cool unique ideas which i was thrilled about and got, got all that done. There's a couple of things I want to run and try to grab if I can today, but if I don't, I'm, I'm okay. We, we got enough, but um, it was really fun. Let me tell you guys, it's not fun out there. <laughs> it is so busy, and I don't like waiting this close to Christmas to do that, but with my back issue, I kind of have to wait till I have a good day, and, um, and I just wasn't really having very many so I was like I just gotta go get some things so I did it pretty quick but if you have not gotten out or you're thinking you're fixing to have to go let me tell you guys prepare for lines the lines were really bad and um, there was no grumpy people everybody you know I kind of chatted with some people and got to pray for the sweet little lady checking me out she uh, she <laughs> my kids laugh at me because I don't you know meet a stranger if I you know I just sensed that she was in pain because I know what I do I'll, I'll kind of like bend over the cart or something and I saw her kind of bending over just standing there at the checker line and I said is your back hurting and she goes oh my back is killing me and I said I'm so sorry I recognized it because I watched her checking out the guy in front of me and I said I've got issues as well so I'm gonna pray for you I know standing here is awful and she goes oh it just really is and you know we got to talking I kind of got her life story she was a sweet lady so anyway you know as you're out and about and and it's busy and hectic and you, it's easy to get irritated kind of use that time to pray for somebody is my, my advice just you know totally turns around your mood and can totally change their mood because I'm sure not that many people come through and offer that for people you know people usually are like hurry up you know so anyway just show some kindness where you go and just be prepared for the lines okay so we've got a pretty good base coat here we've got the base coat on our tree now we can move and do a hat oh Andrea listen it's just I mean it's we, we should, as a believer, you should do that. You know, it, it's not like I'm special at all. That's what we're called to do. A gas card? You can't find a gas card? Interesting, but that's really a great gift. That's a, honestly, I think it was April, my son's girlfriend that was like, I think this is the year we need to ask for like, <laughs> gift cards for the grocery store. You know, like people are really, kind of hurting and needing you know the basics it's 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 kind of not always uh, y'all I didn't mean to put black on here I'm gonna have to wash my brush oh thanks Shelly Ann you're special to me 
sometimes, you know, I know I say these things and hopefully it gives somebody an idea that maybe had not thought of that. So hopefully we can spread some love and, and grace on with people. So here's what I'm doing with this gray. I'm going to come and put a little bit of this gray and you can see that it's not dry. So it's kind of smearing a little bit, but if you'll let your layer dry, before you go in, can y'all see okay? Before you go in to do your next layer, then you'll have better luck. But I'm obviously in a hurry and just gonna kinda go for it. But I'm just putting some of this gray at the bottom for some shading on these, on these little rolls of his. And I'll hold this up so you can see because it may not, you may not can see the gray on here too well. And I can darken it. Sometimes I do blue too, um, just depends. And I'll put some in here. I think I am gonna grab a little blue. But this just couldn't be easier. So don't say, you know, that you can't do it. This is a super, super easy project, but yet it's really unique because obviously it's hand painted and not everybody's gonna have one. So not only are you giving a gift of wine, uh, but you're giving them a, something they're going to want to keep forever, especially when you see the end. You just love snowmen? I do too. I do too. Oh, Cynthia, it is a special group. Christy, that is perfect. I know people, oh look, I know people need cash. That's a perfect gift. You can never go wrong. And I know a lot of people don't like giving cash, but people love getting cash, don't you? So, <laughs> Uh, Lisa, I'm so glad to hear that. So Lisa's in my private group and um, several of you guys are, I know. And she had asked for prayer for her husband. He had lost his job. And guys, so many, oh, I'll get chill bumps. My hairs are sticking straight up. So many of our sisters in there, and we had a brother, come in and say, absolutely, we're on it. You know, we're going to pray because we know how hard, especially at this time of the year, to lose a job. I mean, it's just your nerves just immediately go bonkers because it's bad anytime, but especially uh, at Christmas. And so he found a job within days and we absolutely 100% give God the glory because it's answered prayer. And she had others praying, of course, not just our group, but uh, you know, you always want to come back and give him glory and thank you for, for that. And she's telling us he's having a good day. So that's amazing. Today was his first day. Happy, happy to hear that. Okay, it's looking better. So I'm getting a few layers on here, even though we're not doing it slow and simple, slow and easy like we typically do. We're getting the layers and now you can really start to see it coming, coming around. We've got a little bit of gray and a little bit of blue in both our snow and our snowman. We're gonna add a hat next and do his face. So the hat that I wanna do is one of the little I'm just really into the, what are they called, trapper hats? I'm not even sure, but that's what I was thinking. Oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you have to. I'm sure the cold makes it so much worse. Oh, good, Michelle. I got to see my brother Sunday as well, and it was so great seeing him and his family. And his son just got engaged. So he's my nephew, of course, <clears throat> and um, it was really, really fun meeting her. I, I don't know why I keep going into black because I'm trying to do the top hat. That's what is my, my mind is going top hat, but I kind of like those little other hats for something different. So let's do red, bring some red into this design. Okay, let me think a second how they look. They're like this going across. Now red is a translucent color. It will take several coats and then down like this kind of you know a couple of ovals i try to break it down and help you guys with just in your mind all we've done is circles and now we're doing like basically an oval or i say football shape a lot so for leaves you know i say football shape just break it down to where it's not intimidating because there's no reason to leave painting to quote unquote, the professionals, which I see so many people say, you know, like, oh, I love how y'all do that, but I just can't do it. Yes, you can. You can, if you want to, you don't have to, but you know, if you want to try and, and do it, you can do it. I will show you how. 
Okay, so we've got the first coat on his little hat. We'll add some fur trim, but that's that. Ear flaps and straps hanging down. Yes, I always put the little, um, like a, a tie with a little pom-pom kind of hanging down, which, mm, cute idea. We could add a couple of these little pom-poms to this. Just hot glue them right on. Love that idea. So, like so. That's where we will add our, our pom-poms maybe. Okay. That's right, Lisa. Lisa would be watching me for a while and then she would send me a picture and go, look what I did. I'm like, yes, yes, you can do it, see? It just, it just kills me when people say they can't. I'm like, yes, you can. Don't you dare say that can't word. Okay, I'm coming in with a little black and mixing it with some green to get a dark green here. I wanna come back in and go across each of these at the bottom with my dark green. So we're just coming back over what we've already done with a little darker green down at the base. Because remember I said acrylic paint, uh, glass paint, this all works so much better with layers rather than doing everything, trying to do everything at the first. Now I'm gonna come back with my green and this will kind of mesh the two together. Come right back, put more green at the top of this. So we added dark down here. I'm just coming back and adding some light green at the top. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this green, put it over here with some white and get a light green. And we'll go across the tops of these with this. Now, if we can get it to dry, we can certainly add some snow, which was my intent. I've got snow sitting out right here. We'll see if we can get it on. I've also got diamond dust, so we're gonna see if we can make that work. But right now we're just adding a little swipe of the light green to the tops of the branches, like so, okay? Little whimsical tree. I am using deco art all kinds. I've got glass paint out. I've got their multi-surface paint you can use on glass. And I am using some just regular acrylics because I put down my multi-purpose sealer first. So wash your bottle real well with soap and water, let it dry. Alcohol, and I use the 98% alcohol and clean the bottle real well and just let it set for 10 minutes or so till it's totally dry. Then you can put that sealer on and then your paint. And that will keep, I can just use a regular acrylic paints and it won't go anywhere. Okay, let's do a carrot nose. So let me grab some yellow over here. Gloss enamels. Yeah, Christy, um, I have some, some glass markers. I just, I like paint. I like the swoosh of the brush and I'm just not a marker person except for my gold marker. I love my, my gold. It's almost like gold leaf. I love that marker. So just adding a little yellow to my red and trying to get an orange. I've got a messy palette because I'm trying to hurry and go fast, but you just play with your color. Can y'all see this? Till you get an orange that you like. And then we can give him a nose. Uh, I love the ones that look up, but he's really not looking up. So we'll just do kind of a, like so. Always a little bigger right there at the base. And I'm gonna take a little yellow and kind of get a little highlight at the top of the nose. I'm gonna take a little red and give it a little bit of a darker down here at the bottom. 
Now I can move to a smaller brush, but I'm not. So he's got a little bit of a honker. That's okay. We are all different. I got a little bit of a honker too. Ooh. That was a close one. That was close. Okay. And then eyes, I'll just use the back of a brush and my black and do some, you know, kind of a coal shape. So not perfect, but I kind of just rub my brush around a little bit or my, you know, back of it. And I usually will start in the middle, two on each side for the mouth. So one of those is kind of hidden behind his nose. Let's see how that looks. You can switch to a small brush if you need to put just a little bit. But that's about all that will show because the rest is behind his nose. Okie doke. Let's add a little bit more red to his hat. But for time's sake, we're just doing some basic colors, but how cute would this be in a buffalo plaid or, you know, any kind of plaid? So when you're not rushed for time, you can totally do all kind of things. If you're, whoever you're giving this to, you know, graduated from a certain school, you could do their school colors for their little cap. That would be super cute. And then I promise they're gonna wanna keep this forever. So let us plug this in because I would like to use those two little pom-poms on here. Okay. Let's do a scarf quickly. Yes, uh, we've got the green tree, we've got the red, we could do blue scarf maybe. Bring in another color. Hi Dina, how are you friend? You did some glass, something TikTok ads Christmas inside the 7x7. I'll have to go back and read that because I'm not sure what that means. Let me, I can't think fast enough as I'm reading it to know what you're saying there. But glad you guys are here. So for a scarf, we'll just kind of bring it right up under the neck. Again, easy, easy shape. So don't let this intimidate you. And then bring it down like so. So your scarf, you went this way. And then from the top of that, you want to go over just a tiny dot and then down. Clean that off before I put it in the water. And then for, you know, I, I'm not letting it dry, but you can let it dry and then put in some designs. I'm just gonna kind of add some white just to show you guys, you know, not to forget to do some kind of design in here. But once it's dry, we could really make it cute. And then I'll take the end and just kind of feather it out. Like, can y'all see this? I hope you can. Let's see if I can put it up on something to where maybe y'all can see a little better, a little closer. But just kind of take that and just kind of feather it out to make those little fringy looking things at the bottom. Look how easy, you guys. Easy peasy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Cynthia. Hi, Dee. Sitting down. Cheryl, how are you doing and how are you guys feeling? Moving is so hard. I really feel for you, especially at the holidays. It's, I know it's stressful. It's got to be. It's like good, but still stressful, right? I mean, it just is. I'm just adding a little tiny bit of white to the top of that nose. And I'm going to come along with a little bit of black, but you can definitely use brown but just to kind of help that stand out a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead, even though this isn't dry, and do a little line. 
because with this type of art, <clears throat> excuse me, fun, whimsical art, it's kind of cool to add these, um, these lines with black. I mean, you can just so do that and it looks fine. Whereas with, you know, regular art, you can't. And then I'll line the little snowman, kind of a whimsical line, but I'll kind of want you to see it. like so it just makes it kind of pop the lines can be fun and whimsical they do not have to be serious or perfect in fact that would be weird so just get them on there like so and that's all you got to do And then if you want to add a few down here and definitely the base of our the bottom of our branches we're adding a little <clears throat> a little bit how are we doing on time oh we're good y'all we are doing good we're gonna take some white and just the tops of these branches come along here and give a little highlight. Like so. And I did not get out a brown, so I'm going to just quickly make one here. I usually will do red and green together and kind of get a brown if I don't want to stop and pull one but just give that a little base down there that little tree base is all there we go so far the hat still needs some work but you know we got to do it in layers tired oh bless you Cheryl listen take it easy you live out of a box for a while it's fine you know what I mean you get your basics out and then I think we can survive on very little right while we have to and then just take your time it does not have to all be done right away I know it kind of drives you crazy you want it done but your healing is more important and the, the better you heal and the faster you heal then you'll feel like doing it so don't overdo it girl please y'all tell her Rome wasn't built in a day and her house doesn't have to be put together in a day or even a week or even a month okay oh buttons he needs buttons Um, let's do black buttons. Now you could definitely attach, I'm trying to think real quick before I do this. If I have something is what I was thinking. Mm, I don't see anything. But, you know the little things you get from Dollar Tree that are a stick, it's like a pack of stickers, and they're all like these little tiny pearl button looking things. Those would be cute. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. That's right, Mary. You tell her. Mary just moved so she knows. Now these little, these little beads right here would work. See them? They're just like little those would work we could do that but I don't know if I want gold um I'll just do the back of my brush and we'll just put some big buttons right here I 
Now, when that dries, you can do the little crisscross thing in the center. In fact, let's just dry it so we can do that because that will be cute. But you guys, come on. That's a cute little gift and you can do this. I want you to tell me if you're like, okay, I can do that. Like you thought you couldn't paint, but you're pretty sure you could do this because I promise you can. Start on paper. That's my recommendation is get a piece of coffee paper, any kind of paper, and just start there and kind of draw it out and then, um, you know, paint it with something and then keep going. And once you're confident, you know, you're like, yeah, I like that, then go to this. Lori, yes, I know you are. Thank you. I was hoping you might could get in by Christmas, but I think, yeah, that's always a, a lofty goal because everything slows down for construction at Christmas and, and they're not working usually as fast as they used to and they want to be done too. So just like a little, you could do the two, like two little dots like that for your buttons or the two little crisscross whatever you want to do. So there's our little buttons. Let's see, can y'all see? There we go. It's hard for me to hold that. And, okay, so what I'm thinking is we need a little bit of the white fur right here. You know, that type of coat or type of hat has all that little fur right here and right here. So I'm gonna kind of put that back in here in a zigzaggy fun manner fun art you guys that's why you can do this because this is fun art doesn't have to be perfect just get it on there and it's adorable right so nobody's gonna say oh but she did a squiggly thing you know that it, it just is cute when you see it so a couple of little dots there we're gonna do a very light little little marks right above each one of the little coals as I call them so let me show you that up close hopefully you can see that and then I think I might want to plaid do plaid on this but let's just kind of stop for now and show you what we're going to do to this I do think adding snow would be adorable so this is snow text. You can add this right on top of your paint down here. And I use my finger a lot or like a little craft stick because I like to put it where I want it and kind of move it around to get the texture I want. Um, I love this stuff. I use it every single year. All of my Christmas ceramic Christmas trees that I paint, I put this stuff on it and it just looks so good. So I'll show y'all this up close. So anyway, we can put some of this on here. We can, let's see, I'm gonna switch to a brush to put it on my tree branches, but you can brush some on your tree branches here. Just have little bits of it kind of piled up in certain places, but I kind of put it toward the top where that white is. This will be a, a decorative piece, of course, sitting on their kitchen counter each Christmas. So either drink the wine, give them the bottle, or give them the bottle, just take the wrapper off if it's a close friend and just tell them, you know, put a little tag on it that says what kind of wine it is. Or if you're not a wine drinker, don't wanna buy one, then use any kind of bottle that you have. But this last thing I'm gonna to do to it is specifically for a wine bottle. So I'll show you that one second. Okay, let me show you, and you can even put it, you know, on his hat, like it's falling right down on his hat because it's snowing outside. You can put it right here, and give that texture, whatever you want to do. You could do the whole snowman in this snow if you want to. You can make this homemade, but um, I get this when it's on sale, uh, at, usually at Michael's and just always have it because I use it all winter on my stuff. Okay, let's show you that up close. How are we doing on time? We got five minutes, we're good. So hopefully y'all can see the texture, the texture at the bottom. 
but that adds kind of a lot. Now, um, here's, you'll want to add a little ribbon around here, and that's why I was thinking about doing the gnome earlier, because I've got this cute ribbon. That would have been cute to have a gnome, but I will look to see what I have that will go with this. But like, this was another one Katie sent. So picture, we'll just, we'll just put it, picture a cute ribbon that matches whatever you painted and just tie it in an easy bow, you know, right around here. This is not, this is not the best bow, I can already tell you, but in a pinch, in a pinch, you'll get the idea. It's kind of just to inspire you, give you an idea, you know, this is last minute, you know, somebody you didn't know is coming and you need something quick, how cute. Y'all, this is the saddest little bow. Hold on, hold please. Oh, please. I heard um, Stephanie say that, the Vintage Pebble. I heard her say it yesterday, and I laughed to myself because she goes, hold, please. It's like, that's mine. <laughs> it does take a bit. I've had, yes, it does. You um, really just have to let them rest and, and not injure it any worse, you know. Okay, let's cut that. The way we do oops wrong way y'all because I'm upside down and backwards whoops 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 you know you know y'all will do it right so anyway you get the idea but here's the fun thing these they have on Amazon or at Walmart I found these at Walmart in the um, Christmas area you know how they have, or at least our store has a Christmas area outside, like in the garden center? That's where these were last year. So I picked up a few last year. And they're just twinkle lights, fairy lights, but they're made for a wine bottle. But you can get these on Amazon. And you can even get them in like a you know, bunch of 10 or however many and do a whole bunch of these. So if you like to sell things for craft fairs and things, this is a great thing to sell. People like stuff like this because they don't know how easy it is. They didn't watch this, but now you guys know. So if you like to sell crafts and you like to go to craft fairs, this would be a great thing to offer next year or think of other designs all year long, you know, because we all love things that light up and this looks really cute on a kitchen counter. How we doing? We got three minutes. I'm just kind of getting these down in here, feeding it through. Yeah, you're right. A guy. Yeah. I mean, any, it, you, I don't know. Would a guy appreciate it? I don't know. But I mean, I'd love to have this on my counter. So anything hand done, hand painted is great for a gift, especially at Christmas. So if you can get that multi-purpose solution, that will allow you to use whatever paints you already have. Any brand, whether it's acrylic, whatever, you know, it needs to be acrylic, but you don't have to have glass paint. And then this just fits right down in here like the topper. So you've got a cute little gift and how much better than just a plain bottle of wine, right? Oh, I think he's cute. I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, if you don't have, you know, something like a wine bottle and you don't have access to a wine bottle, I almost did this on, this is, um, what do you call it? Eggnog. This is an eggnog bottle. And um, my daughter bought this and made some cookies. You guys, I need to get y'all the recipe. The cookies she made with this eggnog are th the best I've ever had. They are so, so good. It's a Taylor Swift recipe, so you may can just look that up. I don't know if my daughter adds or takes away or anything, but man, oh, we, we actually, we all ate them, we gave some away, and, and then we made her made more. They were so good. 
so anyway there we go lights up so it's super cute and sits on your little counter I think that would be a sweet gift for somebody so if you guys do this let me know if you are in the art and grace VIP group which is called art and craft VIPs then you will get this tracer and it will be in there in just a little bit in the group so I hope y'all enjoyed that oh by the way if you want to cure this before you add the snow put it into let it dry completely 24 hours then put it into a cold oven so it's just cold you just lay it on the rack and then turn the oven on to 350 and let it come up to that temperature and set a timer for 20 minutes when the 20 minutes goes off when the buzzer goes off you leave it you just turn it off and leave it till it's completely cool so I'm talking a few hours just leave it and then um, it will be good to go and I'd still hand wash if you got anything on it but it would be sealed cured and then you can add your snow text after that part okay so I hope y'all have a great day go up to the link up in the description to go to craft around the clock and watch the next crafter after me hope y'all have a great day see you later bye guys